In a startling discovery, health officials have confirmed a case of bubonic plague in the United States, sparking concerns about the re-emergence of the centuries-old disease. The patient, identified in Pueblo County, Colorado, has prompted a swift response from local health authorities, who are now vigilantly monitoring the situation. Bubonic plague, infamous for its devastating impact during the Middle Ages, is caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis. This disease primarily spreads through flea bites or handling infected animals such as rodents. Early symptoms often include fever, chills, headache, and painfully swollen lymph nodes, known as buboes, from which the disease gets its name. Despite its historical association with the Black Death that wiped out millions in Europe, bubonic plague is treatable with antibiotics if diagnosed early. However, delayed treatment can lead to severe complications or even death. This recent case in Pueblo County marks a rare instance of bubonic plague in the modern era, highlighting the ongoing risks despite advancements in healthcare and sanitation. Health officials are conducting thorough investigations to trace the source of the infection and prevent further spread. The detection of bubonic plague serves as a reminder of the persistence of ancient diseases in our interconnected world. Factors such as climate change and urbanization can potentially influence the resurgence of such illnesses, necessitating constant vigilance and preparedness from public health authorities. As communities and healthcare professionals remain on high alert, it is crucial for individuals to be aware of the symptoms and seek prompt medical attention if they suspect exposure to the disease. Educating the public about preventive measures, such as avoiding contact with wild rodents and using insect repellent in plague endemic areas, is essential in minimizing risks. While the case in Pueblo County is concerning, swift action and public awareness can mitigate the impact of bubonic plague outbreaks. Continued research into the bacterium and its transmission dynamics remains critical in safeguarding global health.